Okay, so let me show you what we've been doing here. Okay. So, this is it. <laughs> Good. I'm Robbie Ingebretson, and my title is Creative Director at Pixel App. The first computer I ever had was a Commodore 64. I got it when I was about 10, and uh, the first game that I got for it was Flight Simulator. So that was my first exposure. Oh, well, yeah, and I wrote some of the code that went into Commodore 64. That's awesome. So. My name is Dave Denhart. I was a software development engineer for many years uh, working on Flight Simulator. We were trying to give users a simulated environment to show that computers could be much more than just accounting machines. They could take you into new worlds. When the Microsoft Flight Simulator came out on the new IBM PC machine, it was pretty eye-opening. We took full advantage of the IBM PC hardware and we wrote the Flight Simulator to use all of its capabilities. The attention to detail in that code base is meticulous in a way that you just don't see. We were, you know, 150 people. And the development cycle, two years, sometimes two and a half. I don't think you could create something like Flight Simulator without a team like that. There's just so much detail to try to capture and bring it over. I was intrigued to see what the new web standards make possible. We didn't have the advantage of having those standards when we were creating the software. We were just simply making it up from scratch. There is a tremendous amount of innovation in the web platform right now, and in this project we had a chance to use some of the most interesting capabilities of a browser. The first was WebGL, which gave us a really, really robust 3D environment. How do you use WebGL? I, I, I'm not too familiar with that. It's like 3D primitives, it's polygons and you know things like that. Then there are a number of frameworks. We used one called Babylon.js. They just shipped version 2 with 3D audio and some great lighting and shadow capabilities. We also used the Web Audio API. Without that, we wouldn't have been able to manipulate the engine sound like we do directly in the browser. I like where Microsoft is heading with their new browser. We're a mixed studio. We've got guys on Macs, PCs, all kinds of devices. And the code we wrote just worked everywhere with really no changes. That's true, by the way, for Azure, too. We're a Node.js shop deploying to Azure from both Macs and PCs, and it just works. <laughs> so. Excellent. This is the first time that these assets and this code base has really come onto the web in this way. And I think that that sort of made us feel like we were part of this thing that we have so much admiration for. Yeah, so that's it. Cool, thanks. Thanks for showing it. So this has been a good experience. It was awesome. And it's so great to get sort of the insider view of the history. Really appreciate it. It was great.